Hi guys, thanks for tuning into my channel. This is Sonetta. I feel like I haven't been in front of the camera in a while. So I'm gonna show you guys some clips that I did. Like I was trying to take you guys into my week at one point. Me and Larry went on this huge fishing adventure um, where we drove an hour and a half away to go fishing. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, and I just, I don't know, I haven't put those clips together. It's been over the past couple of weeks. So check out what I've been going on. But first, let me show you what I'm having for lunch. Then I'm gonna eat, and then I'll be back. Okay, guys, so you know I eat fish a lot because I go fishing a lot. But I decided to try them in the oven. So like an oven fry. So I didn't use any grease. And they look so crunchy and good. And I just plated it up with some grits. I like my grits with salt and pepper. Some people like theirs with sugar. Comment below if you, um, and I've asked this question before. Do you eat grits with salt and pepper or sugar? But I'm about to add some hot sauce to this and smack, smack, smack. Y'all see my fish? Y'all see my fish? I decided to put it in the oven this time instead of always frying it, but I still put a batter on it. And it turned out crispy, and I'm about to eat. I'm about to eat, but I'm gonna show you guys these clips, and then I will be back. Hey, hey, y'all. Happy Tuesday, y'all. My eyes are so red, and they hurt so bad. But I love sitting outside, and these allergies are, woo. Anyway, it's Tuesday. I work from home on Tuesday, so. Ew, ew, ew. There goes Shani. Uh-uh. <laughs> Shani's like, do not put me on camera. She don't got on her lashes. Shani, you got addicted to those lashes. Addicted. I told you they're a lifestyle, but they also are right in the bank. Yeah, so I just work from home, so I, I just wanted to get out the house. So I'm sitting on the patio, and my eyes hurt because it's the allergies. I'll be back. Y'all, we're about to do it again. We're about to go fishing on this Wednesday evening after work. Good way to unwind and relax. Yeah, I used to go to happy hour on Wednesdays. Oh, well, here come the police. Oh, shoot. Hold on. <laughs> I'll call my cousin's boyfriend the wrong name. Oh, Lord. I called him her ex-boyfriend's name. Oh, I'm in trouble. Oh, Lord. But anyway, I had to... I had to, I thought I had to move my car because Larry was illeg illegally parked. And the police was coming, but... Larry was coming right on out. But anyway. Um... We just made a pit stop, then we're going to go fishing. I used to always go to happy hour on Wednesdays. But now that... And even when Larry would come in town before in years past, for like the past three years, he spends his summers. And I'm on... We would go fishing every once in a while, but we are on a road. Like, we have never fished this much. And I'm just enjoying it. Happy hour will be there this fall. <laughs> And I still go, but, because we don't go fishing every Wednesday. But we have been going weekly. I don't know what day it falls on. No in particular, no date in particular, but, yeah. My summer routine has changed a little bit, because I'm enjoying. I love being outside anywhere in the summertime, no matter how hot it is. I just love outside and by the water, by the bank. It's so relaxing. And, yeah, I can go to happy hour anytime. But it's only fishing season for a few months. So, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take advantage of it while I can. So, <clears throat> last night, well, yesterday evening, I forgot off work because I work from home. So, because I'm in the house all day, and it's summertime, I was like, I'm going to go up to the to the restaurant and sit on the patio and so that's what i did i had ate at home and everything i didn't even eat there i just literally just went to hang out with shani 
on the patio for a little bit. And that just helps break up my week. And now we're finna go fishing, which just breaks up my week. It just, so it's not just work and home and then just work and home. Ugh, that could be so boring. And in the summertime, it's like I want to take advantage of being able to be out and about. Because once it gets cold and snowy, that is what you do. Just, well, what I do is work and home, you know. So I'm just out enjoying summertime. I don't have any travel plans. Um, yeah, I don't think I'm traveling this year. I'm in school and that is just it. And I, man, I develop anxiety about traveling. You know, the pandemic, I don't know what it was about the pandemic, but it just, my anxiety level went to the top. And I used to just travel by myself, just go wherever I wanted to go. I used to always travel by myself and I can't do that. I can't do that anymore. The thought of that gives me the heebie-jeebies. <laughs> so that's just something I got to work through. But I don't have any travel plans. Um, so I'm just going to make the best of uh, my staycation. This is summertime. So every whenever I have a friend named Steve, and he used to always say, whenever we're off work, we are on vacation. So when you get off at 5, you are on vacation until it's time to go to work again. On the weekend, treat it like you're on vacation. A staycation. <laughs> Every time I got the camera, Larry be looking up like, you got the camera? I don't know if he likes it or don't. Larry used to love being on camera, but now he kind of acts hesitant. I don't know. But anyway, he used to say, treat your vacation, your weekends like a, like a vacation. And so when I used to hang around this particular group of friends, when I lived in this different neighborhood years ago we used to get together all the time on the weekend and during the week too like for dinner at each other's house but um we, we just had the mindset that we were on vacation and i think that's what i do like on the weekends i am on vacation get my homework done early so that i could just be free as a bird <laughs> on the weekends but the same as after work i got my Wednesday assignment done. I got that done Monday night. And then, um, so then I'm free. I don't got another assignment due till Sunday. And I'm going to get that done tomorrow night. Tomorrow I am going to come home from work and sit down somewhere. Um, and get that homework done. So then that Friday, Saturday, Sunday, I could just hang out go fishing again or happy hour or whatever take a nap i don't know anyway yeah i'm just waiting on larry i'm ready for him to come on so we can get going all right <laughs> I didn't think I was gonna make it, y'all. We did 18 holes, but I stopped after nine and just rode in the car because I cannot in this heat. But we made it. So we're gonna go eat lunch. Figure out who won prizes. I didn't win nothing. Shannon's brother was golfing for me the rest of the way. So anyway, y'all, that's it for this weekend fun day not sunday fun day saturday fun day tomorrow we're fishing so i'll be back
What do you got there, Steve? A little shot thing for the garage. Yes. Pringles. Beer nuts. Yes. Hey, uh, Grant, look at the numbers. Zero. Busted. I look busted. I feel busted. I'm busted. Okay? Y'all, we started at 8 o'clock this morning and it's after 6 o'clock. For the pepperoni. Shannon didn't won so many prizes and she's playing Kino. For the. She's vlogging. Say hi. Say hi, Tony. Monkey friend. <laughs> and then a they playing Keno and they winning, y'all. Oh my god! But I'm gonna send you a picture. I'm so tired. Do y'all see my eyes? How red they are because of the allergies outside. It was a hundred. It got up to a hundred and one. Six o'clock. What time is it? Six o'clock. And we about to go. Yeah. And then I got a fish in the morning, y'all. Me and, and Larry. You guys like want to do something. But they not ready to go. They want to hang out again. They want to order pizza and all that. So I'm gonna call Larry to see if he wanna hang out with me tonight. Like Larry, come hang out with me tonight before we go fishing tomorrow. <laughs> and we're gonna see if that happens. But y'all, we had demo. We did good. We did good. Amazing day ever. It was so much fun, and I am so tired. My eyes are so red. And y'all know I always got to give y'all a hair update. So I just got oil and um, just oils in my hair, twisted up so that I can wash it tomorrow. So it's like a pre poo. It's like a pre poo situation going on underneath my hair. It's a hot mess. <laughs> I gotta go. I'll see y'all later. Bye. Get the fuck out Get the Y'all, so when I was in, what grade was you in, Mark? What grade, what grade were we in? When I hit you in your eye. Did you pull it? I I mean, when definitely grade school it, because it I left was, the It was grade school, y'all. Mark Shannon's cousin. We found out that I knew her cousin. He says I gave him his first black eye. Did I? She balled up her little fist. <laughs> her little fist. Punched me. Is that is is like all bone and muscle? Hit me right in the face. And how do you explain that? As a young boy, it's like, oh, you got a black eye? Did you get a fight? Yeah, I did. Oh, who gave you that black eye? Um, well, actually, a, a girl did. A girl? Really? Like, you got hit by a girl and you got a black guy? Yeah, but you don't understand. This girl hits really <laughs> hard. Sorry. Hi. I know. That's okay. Yeah. But, yeah, that had happened. <laughs> I think we might have been in the fourth grade. No? Something like that. I gave him his first black eye. I'm sure I said something that I thought was really clever. Yeah, he was being you know, a bully. Like kind of does, runs around a little bit. Years later, we, I, we ran into each other again and found out him and Shannon are cousins. Funny, funny, funny. this hat it don't it don't go all the way down on my head right yeah we had we going fishing this morning they're picking me up at four that's probably like 420 we got about another 40 minutes to go to get to our destination I am so 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 tired have to get some coffee.
Larry got a turtle on his hook. God, dog. Is that what it is? Yeah. You better cut your line, Larry. And let him go. God, don't, dog. don't bring him back to... to uh, uh, do not bring him on this bank. Lord have mercy. I gotta see it. Look at that big mug. Oh my God. Gosh. That mug is big. Big and ugly. You better hung up. Ah. That motherfucker broke that shit then. We got that mug is in his mouth. Y'all see what time it is. Y'all, I'm so tired. Been fishing since this morning, early this morning. And I, I am spent from golfing in that heat all day yesterday to fishing. It wasn't as hot today, though, but fishing all day today. I'm ready to go home, shower, and go to sleep. We caught a ton of fish. My glove got all messed up. We caught a ton of fish. Well, I don't know about some. We caught probably about as much as we always catch, 20 to 30. But they are huge. We caught some big old fish. I'm going to put them on ice, clean them tomorrow, and that's it. That's a wrap. Larry is... He's about ready to go. I just had to come to the car because I am tired. I, I yearned. I'll see y'all later. So much fun on the fishing trip. That was last Sunday. Today is Tuesday, I think. Yeah, Tuesday. Um, the 2nd of August. So that was last Sunday. Not this past Sunday, the 31st, but before that. But we're going to go fishing again this weekend because that's the last time we fished. Because that, that wore me out. That was a lot. And I thought we caught like 20 to 30 because that's usually what we catch. We caught 43 fish and they were huge. And also that golfing tournament. So the week before that, I was in a golfing tournament with my son. And I did post that video. I don't know which one it was in. It was in a vlog of some sort. But then the following week, I was in a golf tournament with Shannon her husband, her brother, and some other friends of theirs. And when I say it was hot, but we had so much fun. Shannon, you saw she won all those prizes. <laughs> we just had a good day. So I've been busy just having fun. It's summertime, right? And so, yeah, I just wanted to show you guys that, what I've been doing, and yeah, that's it. I want to say thank you to Valerie Way. She's here on YouTube. I don't think she makes YouTube videos, but she is one of my subscribers. And I'm gonna tell you this story before I show you guys this. I am so super proud of her. So um, I wrote my first book, well, my first and only book back in 2016 and self-published, buy it on Amazon. Um, and so shortly after that, Valerie reached out to me and she was like, I wanna write a book. And um, how did you go about doing it? So I shared with her the process. And then some more time went by and I checked in on her to see how she was doing. And you know, like me, you just start and stop and you know, whatever. So then she was like, oh, it's coming along kind of slow. Then um, I wanna say right before the pandemic, she reached out to me and said, and asked me if I would read her manuscript. She was done. She wanted me to read it, check over for any obvious errors or whatever. So I did that. And she blessed me with a beautiful bou bouquet of flowers. Valerie, remember that? <laughs> and then just recently, I think I asked her, you know, because I didn't want to just keep bothering. So I'm talking some time had gone by, like a couple years. And I was like, how's it going? And she was like, oh, I'm finishing up. So one day last week, I came home from work and there was a package at my door. And you, the first thing you think of, did I order something off Amazon? <laughs> Cause y'all know we always usually do that, right? But anyway, I had this package on my doorstep. She had it packaged y'all real nicely. And she wrote me the most beautiful card, personal heartfelt note. 
And then she has her business card and a bookmark. But anyway, y'all, she sent me the finished copy of her book. It's called Ivy Lee's Rule by Valerie D. Wade. It says, this story follows Ivy Lee, a warm, compassionate, joyous woman from her childhood in real North Carolina. The circumstances of her life were not ideal. When a life-altering condition consumed her, she reached a crossroad. Family secrets and hushed decisions kept the one thing she loved out of reach. She held hope at the cliff of the psychological madness as she longed for peace, clarity, and joy. So it's just a story about this woman. And I have not started reading yet, but I was just going through it. And one of the chapters is called Fish Fry. <laughs> Which chapter is that? chapter 21 it is called fish fry honey they had went down and had a fish fry i can't wait to read this book it's called fish fry so y'all if y'all don't mind please support valerie she self-published this book you can i'm assuming you can buy it on amazon let me look at the card Oh, and then she has a recipe on the back, Ivy Lee sweet potato pie. I didn't even notice that. That is so nice. But you can go to her website. Valerie D. Wade, not Valerie D. Wade, ValerieWadeOnline.com. If you want to screenshot that, save it for later or head on over there. Valerie, thank you so much. I can't wait to read it. I'm going to read it one of my semesters over, y'all. I got one more week of class. I'm a week ahead because I've been, I've been, I got two more weeks of class, but I only got a week left. And this weekend, I'm going to be done. I'm just getting done. And so then I'll be done till the 29th. So I'll have a few weeks of leisure and I could do some leisure reading and I will definitely get into this book thank you again so much for sending i got an auto, uh, author's autographed copy love it i'm gonna forever save this card you know i got you guys i talk and i'm just rambling now but i talked to you guys about the um um the wellness uh box where you just put things that make you feel good in your wellness box. And whenever you're having a down day, you can pull them out. This card is going to go in my wellness box. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, I, I don't know. I have a video and I don't know what it's called. I think it's called wellness box that I did when I did uh, mental health awareness month in May. Anyway, you guys. So that is all I have, you guys. I'm finna clean up my kitchen real quick. Get back to work. My lunch break is almost over. And then after that, I think I'm going to head out. I think I'm going to go sit on the patio at the restaurant or something. But I will be back soon. I haven't sat at my um, vanity to do my makeup or do my hair or anything like that in a minute. It's been a few weeks. So I will come back with those types of videos. So just bear with me when I do these random vlogs. Um, yeah, and that's all I have. Oh, and let me know if you've come to my channel because I read a comment. I can't remember who it was. They said they came to my channel by way of Tracy's Play. She has an amazing channel here on YouTube. If you haven't or you're not familiar with her, go check it out. It's Tracy's Place, T-R-A-C-I-E, apostrophe S, Tracy's Place. But someone said that they came to me by way of her channel. So let me know if that's the case for you because I want to say hello to you. I love Tracy. Anyway, you guys, that's all I have. I will be in soon um, with more content. Don't forget to click the like button, you guys. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please consider doing so. I really would appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in my next one.